Hello friends, uh, today we will see datum features. It is the most uh, basic and uh, important part of uh, Creo. Now that what is the meaning of datum feature? So datum are basically known as references. And uh, it is used uh, as references. And uh, we use references for making sketches and parts. So first of all, uh, make a new template. I am giving it a name datum. Press OK. Take mm as part solid. Press OK. Then here we have given a portal uh, datum. So in datum, four things are, are comprised plane, axis, point, and coordinate system, which are the basic part or basic thing in Creo, which are used to make any sketch or part. Now basically Creo provides us uh, all the four uh, things. These are the planes, the x, y, y, z and z, x, the three axes x, y, z and the coordinate system comprising of it. So, but it can happen that uh, we, we need a different type of uh, reference system to draw a different type of design. So for that thing, we have to use the datum feature. Majorly datum features are used in assembly because uh, datum features are uh, used to change our references or make new references. So in assembly basically we uh, join two or more parts uh, by taking references means uh, by joining the corresponding planes of uh, the axis or the coordinate system. So it is useful uh, mainly in assembly and it is also useful to make a different type of part. Uh, so, for example, we will uh, we will see all the four features applied on a single part. So, first of all, make a sketch, uh, make a extrude. I am making a circle of diameter four hundred. Let the height be 200. Now, that is in, a, in my design. Let's assume that there is a hole 45 degree to, to this plane. To this plane, there is a plane uh, 45 degree inclined to this plane, and we have to make a hole uh, perpendicular to that plane. So we can make the, that type of hole by using the datum uh, feature because we have to change the reference here from the normal reference. So first of all, uh, the hole should be made uh, from the center of this uh, height. So we have to take uh, take two different planes. So select plane. Then uh, we have to project this plane to the center because we have to make the hole from the center. So select the plane which you, we have to take a uh, reference. So just say just same the plane has appeared and uh, we can give a, a different height to it and you can get a different plane. So we want that center to this height. So as the height is 200, the half will be 100 and it came into center. Press OK. So this is our first uh, datum plane. With respect to this plane. Now, for making a plane 45 degree to this plane, this right plane which has appeared here on the left side. So, we have to uh, once again select plane, but after selecting this plane, we have to select the datum plane. So, this plane has appeared, but we don't need the translational uh, displacement of the plane, we need an angular displacement. So, press control key. And select this axis. Here it appeared that E1 axis. Okay. So select that axis. So it has appeared that we can keep the angle uh, corresponding to that. So as it is already given 45 degree, it's okay. Press OK. Now here uh, they are showing the planes or the references which we are taking to build a new type of uh, a new reference plane. So here we have taken two references. One is uh, datum plane which is this right f1 plane and an axis okay 
here is rotation given to press ok now to make an hole select the plane extrude take references now here here to take references we will use this you can take any type of reference here and uh, this feature uh, by taking reference it is very useful and uh, press exit as we have taken all the references then we want the a circle a hole for uh, from the center to make a hole press okay then if the if the figure is distorted and you can press control g to get into its uh, normal configuration so we have got its uh, got its normal configuration see now you can see that it is at a 45 degree angle from this plane and uh, already the remove material uh, thing is selected so we need a through hole a hole so we will do it remove material is selected a hole is done so we can see that uh, we have made a hole perpendicular to this plane at a 45 degree angle from center. Now uh, we will see axis. So this way the datum planes uh, can be used. Now same way axis uh, we can also use axis by making a different axis. But first of all uh, there is a uh, the planes are very messy. So I want to uh, make uh, invisible all the planes so we can select from this uh, from this datum display filter we can unselect the plane display so all the planes will be unselected and they will not uh, display now we will see datum axis so for datum axis uh, or we, we have to make uh, we have to make a hole on this surface at now uh, at a point uh, situated at something uh, something something distance from the different planes. So for that, uh, select axis, select the surface. So these two green points will appear. So these two green points uh, are used uh, to uh, take the corresponding distance with respect to an axis or a plane. So that you can get a specific point from which an axis passes. So for that we have to take the help of planes. So select the plane from the plane datum plane display. We have got all our planes. Now first distance I am taking from this plane, and the second distance I am taking from the this plane two perpendicular planes. Your specific distance. Okay, we are given a specific distance. We can also adjust the length of the uh, axis. We can uh, by for adjusting the length of the axis, we have to go into display option in this portal. This portal, go in display option, go in adjust outline. We can adjust the length of the axis. And then press OK. So we have got a datum axis here. Now uh, we can use the datum axis for different purposes. Mainly it is used for assembly purposes. But uh, by this uh, way we can create a datum axis. Now for a uh, datum point, uh, there are two two types of two types of things in a simple point or offset point in system. A simple point can be created uh, simply by selecting the Axis, or uh, or we can select a surface. Okay, uh, for example, select the surface. Then uh, same like axis, you dis you distances from the respective planes which uh, we want to give, and then uh, press OK. 
so here we can see that uh, here in offset references they are showing us the two planes from where we have taken the references and uh, the point uh, name is pn0 pnt0 we can create uh, as many points as we need and then press ok so we have got a point here ok so these points are used uh, to make uh, if you want to make circle at a specific uh, point so we can first create a point from datum uh, datum feature and uh, then we can easily create a circle on that thing now as i told that in point there are two features like uh, the second feature is offset coordinate system this offset coordinate system means uh, we are uh, creating the point by taking offset to coordinate system means we are taking reference to uh, reference as coordinate system and then creating the points so so in this uh, thing we have to first select a coordinate system of so this is a coordinate system let it see here the name of the coordinate system appeared now type means cartesian cylindrical or spherical so there are three types of uh, coordinate system are available uh, means present in uh, the cartesian cylindrical and spherical here we, we are using only simple cartesian coordinates okay the cylindrical and spherical coordinates are used for vector systems but here we are not dealing with that so select the cartesian thing then here it is given the name x axis y axis z axis so what this mean name means the name of the point x axis means the distance from the x axis distance from y axis and distance from z axis so select in this uh, code give a uh, left click on this thing and automatically the point uh, will appear point p and t1 see here the distances are shown in with blue marks so here x axis zero distance so we can give a uh, different distance as per need 3 5 and 0 from z axis so we will get a point here we will get a point here as per our given now the coordinate system is aligned to this downward plane from where we have taken the x to always remember that the coordinate system is always on the plane from where we take the extrude of that part okay so we have we have got a point there by this way we can uh, make as many points we want to okay then press ok to create them now that's the problem now i don't want the coordinate system at the downward plane i want it at the center plane because i want the point uh, i want to make the point from that reference so for that for moving the coordinate system or for making a different type of coordinate system for my figure i have to use a datum coordinate system so select coordinate system already they are taking uh, the reference uh, point but uh, remove that if you don't want select a new select a surface as i told or select the plane so i want at the center to so select that plane now same way they have given two things which i want to which i have to take reference so click according the reference Okay, so I will take an angular reference and a linear reference. So 40 and uh, here 0. Okay, here also 0. So it is on the center of the figure. It is uh, on the center of the figure. So now press OK. Now see here uh, they have given the two names of the planes. And the type is linear, radial, or di diameter. Hence, uh, these uh, radial means angular. So, if you want an angular coordinate, if you want to align the coordinate system by using angles, you can use radial. And uh, diametric means uh, by the use of diametric uh, means diameter of a circle. So, we need only uh, we want to deal uh, with uh, linear system. The other two we will see in our further videos. So uh, we will see now linear. Now go in orientation. In orientation, uh, there is given that uh, means uh, see here we have taken 
two references this plane and this angular plane uh, so here the name of the plane is given already now okay so now here we have situated the datum uh, datum coordinate system here so there will be three coordinates x y and z axis see here they are pointing x this is x this is y and this is z if you want to change this x y z we can change from here because this y is uh, on this plane okay this x is on this plane so they have given the name of the plane so we can change or we can change the thing so, so now y is on this plane and x is on this plane so we can change accordingly the x, y, z coordinates on the coordinate system, and uh, do the thing. We can also flip the flip the naming of that. See, we can also flip the naming by clicking on flip, then press OK, and we have got a new coordinate system of the figure. So this is all about the datum features. Mainly, these things uh, will be useful in assembly. And we will uh, use this uh, feature uh, very much in uh, when we will be doing assembly. So, thank you.